What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install World Traffic 3 to your X-Plane 11. First thing you guys need to do is obviously purchase World Traffic 3. So you can head over to the org store, purchase World Traffic 3. Right now it is $29. And if you've purchased World Traffic 2 and you bought it before March 1st, 2017, you'll be able to get World Traffic 3 for only $10. And if you bought it after March 1st, uh, you'll get it with a free update. So once you purchase this, in your account file, you'll have your activation key, which will be, or your serial, which will be important to have later. And you'll also have some information, which I'm going to explain in this video. And then you'll also have the file that you're going to download. The All right, so once you guys purchase the World Traffic 3, um, you'll have access to this website here, which will tell you everything. You can access this even if you don't purchase it. I mean, obviously you can see the link above. In order for this to work, you will need that serial number. So the things for here, if you want to look at the manuals, these are... Uh, the two manuals right here. Um, this is a video by Captain Cayman. It's pretty much the same thing that I'm doing. Uh, my video should be much shorter than his though because it's about 45 minutes long. So for Windows only, you can install the installer, which will be an exe file, which should install everything for you in the appropriate folders. This might not always work. Um, and then if you just need to update to 3.19, which is the latest version, you can just run this uh, WT3 updater, which is also an exe file. However, if you want to do it with the zip files, which is what I'm going to be showing you in this, you'll need to download this World Traffic 3 full package file, and then you'll also need to install this AI aircraft and flight schedules, which, like it says here, is formerly known as Real Route Zip. Um, they've made it a lot easier to install this and a lot faster just because um, they've kind of cleaned up this and don't have to install all the, the Bluebell aircraft and move a lot of files around. It makes it much easier for you. The file is about 2 gigs. It does take a little bit of time to download, uh, but once you get it downloaded, you're going to uh, you're gonna have this World Traffic 3 zip file. Um, this is what the folder is going to look like and what it's going to contain. So there's a couple of pretty important things in here. All right, so the first thing we need to do is obviously have our downloaded files and our X-Plane 11 folder. We move this classic JetSim utils to the uh, main X-Plane folder. So we're going to copy that and paste it right into the folder. All right, so once the classic Jet Sim Utils has been moved over, the next thing we need to do is move the World Traffic folder into our Plugins folder. So we are going to go into Resources, Plugins, Copy, and then paste the World Traffic folder in here, and that should be pretty much instantly. Additionally, we're also going to move the World Traffic Radar into our Plugins folder. And now the other thing that we need to do is go back to our main um, folder, go into aircraft, and then we're going to move the classic jet simulations folder. And we're going to copy that and paste it into our aircraft. We need to uh, insert our world traffic serial number into the world traffic key file. So um, what you're going to do uh, when you open that file up is going to have, um, I think it's going to say, enter serial number or something along those lines. I've already got mine pasted in there, so I'm not going to show you guys that. Um, but what we need to do with this file, just place it into our world traffic folder in our plugins. So we're going to go to resources, plugins, and then world traffic. And we're just going to paste that file right there. The next step, we need to install the updates into the appropriate folder. This is going to be the aircraft and flight schedules file that you should have downloaded in the beginning with the World Traffic 3 full package. So you're going to go into this World Traffic folder and then you're going to go into your classic jets and utilities, World Traffic, and you just want to copy these and paste them right in here. should ask you if you want to replace some files. All right, so now that before we can go into explain, there's one last thing that we need to do, and that is update our um, Navigraph data for world traffic. So uh, you're going to be doing that in Classic Jet Sims Utilities. If we go into open up the uh, Navigraph FMS data manager, which you will need a subscription for, um, you should automatically recognize where the world traffic is but if it doesn't automatically recognize it um, you'll need to locate that and I have a video that will show you guys how to use this better but for the time being we're just going to go ahead and update this and you should see um, as this finishes updating that 
the time on this Navigraph data will update. There it goes, 3.06 now, which is the current time. That's a good indication that it worked properly. All right, so now our Navigraph is up to date. Go ahead and close this. All right, so at this point, we should have everything we need installed. So we're going to go ahead and run X-Plane and just make sure that um, it's running properly. All right, so as you can see, it says my world traffic key is valid. And then world traffic three is initializing, which is exactly what we want to see. So now there's a couple things that I forgot to mention here. So uh, that really the most important thing that you want to do is change your graphics and uncheck draw parked aircraft. This is going to be very important that you do. All right, so now that we got that turned off, as you can see, our aircraft or our airport here looks pretty dead. All right, and as you can see here, um, so in our plugins, we have World Traffic 3 um, radar and World Traffic. And we'll go over the setups in the next video, the part two of this. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that everything was in there and activated. We're going to go ahead and conclude the video at that. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this video useful. And if you did, be sure to smash that like button and look for the second part of this uh, World Traffic 3 installation which will be the setup and actually running with the World Traffic 3. All right, guys, until next time, this is Josh, the Limitless Pilot.